Welcome to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne Kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne will teach you how to do this through building high self esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness, as well as other useful free gifts for you. In this episode of Claim Your Excellent Life, we are going to be speaking about fibromyalgia. In the last week or so, there have been a lot of specialists on a seminar online who have spoken pretty deeply and completely about fibromyalgia, which is a diagnosis that many conventional doctors don't believe exist. However, with brain scans, the experts are learning more about how this actually works and that it does actually exist, which anybody who suffered with it will tell you most certainly it exists because they go through hell living with it every single day. Now, what I want to bring out to you here is that there's really two components to fibromyalgia. And I believe that when most people go to get help with it, they go either one way or the other way. So let us clarify what needs to happen here. Fibromyalgia is actually a disorder in terms of the pain receptors where the pain that those with fibromyalgia feel is much more intense than those without it. So for example, if a cat was to jump on a person's lap without fibromyalgia, it would be just the cat jumping on their lap. With a person with fibromyalgia, it is horrific pain. And this is because their pain receptors are so overly sensitized that they have a very low tolerance for pain. Now, There's different reasons why this occurs. One of the reasons, and it needs to be taken care of first, as far as what these experts were talking about, would be the inflammation in the body. That probably comes through leaky gut. So you have these things in the lining of your stomach called tight junctions. And what happens is that when we eat a bunch of crap food, Those tight junctions loosen. Partially digested food particles are released into your blood system. They circulate through your body and they cause the inflammation. So the first thing that needs to occur here is that the leaky gut needs to be taken care of, as well as the microbiome. Because your microbiome is your immune system. It has tons of viruses, bacteria, fungi in there in order to protect you. And if these are out of balance, you're going to be feeling ill. So these two things need to be taken care of first. Because the neurotransmitters that help our brain to function normally, and that includes the brain receptors, it has to do with the emotional stability, our mental capacities, all happen with the neurotransmitters that are developed from the amino acids that we eat in our proteins in our gut. Yes, indeed. Most of these things are not created in your brain. They are created in your gut, and then they are able to communicate with the brain. Some of the nutrients that need to be taken under consideration where fibromyalgia is concerned, because many people with fibromyalgia are not able to metabolize them, The B6, vitamin B6 is so important for dopamine production, serotonin, the methylization of your nerve cells. Your brain is mostly nerve cells, and your nerves are obviously nerve cells. And the methylization is what creates the cover of the nerves so that they don't jerk out one another. Very, very important. It also 
helps with 5-HTP, which is important for mood stabilization. And it also helps with the pain signaling. Magnesium is also something that is usually missing. Biotin is also missing. Zinc, which is really important for the immune system, and iron. So get those checked out if you're a person who feels you have fibromyalgia or have been diagnosed with it. These will definitely help you out. The second thing that I want to bring to your attention that I learned is this thing called childhood developmental trauma. In this case, we're talking about a childhood where a person was repeatedly traumatized in some fashion or form, usually by their guardian, their main caretakers over a period of time. It works differently than if someone has a single event that created the trauma, which then can become post-traumatic stress. This is a totally different way of processing the trauma. The child is under repeated stress, so their body goes into fight or flight, or it will freeze. In either case, the child's stress hormones are consistently and constantly being triggered. And this causes a lot of muscular pressure because you're always in this place where you're tightening your muscles. And through doing this over and over again, the pain receptors get more sensitized. There's also a big problem because the kid never feels safe. So this early childhood stress changes the way that the adult is going to be functioning in life. Unfortunately, what happens in a lot of cases is that even though there may not be any major illness in childhood, something might happen in terms of big life event as an adult, such as losing a job, going through a really bad divorce, losing a child, something of this nature, can trigger the fibromyalgia response later in life. So what needs to happen is those traumas need to be neutralized, which means the mind, the emotions, need to be dealt with to heal those childhood traumas. It's really important to find a fibromyalgia specialist who is able to help you with both aspects of this particular disorder. Because if you don't have a healthy gut, you're not going to be able to process the work that you're doing with the emotions appropriately because you don't have the appropriate neurotransmitters being made to help you to do that. You're always in stress, depression, anxiety which doesn't help one to be able to process anything. So the nutrients that your body needs to function is really, truly the baseline that needs to be handled. Then that person who you're going to can help you to deal with the emotional aspect of it. It's really better to go to one person who can help you with both aspects because they work together. And it will make your life a whole lot simpler in terms of doing so. One book that will be really helpful for you by Dr. Lawrence Hiller is called Healing Developmental Trauma. He goes through the five adaptive styles so that you can figure out what's going on with you and work from there. Another helpful book is called Fibro Manual by Geneva Lipton really helpful. It will give you a lot of the physiological, emotional basis of fibromyalgia as well. She's actually a person who went through fibromyalgia and was able to heal herself and helps other people heal it as well. She's a specialist in this field. Nikki, N-I-K-I, Great Tricks, G-R-A-T-R-I-X, is another person who is a specialist in the field and she is actually the one who spoke about the childhood developmental trauma. 
I sincerely hope that those of you with fibromyalgia do deeper thinking and research into how to best help yourselves. The experts feel like you can get rid of maybe 80% of the pain that you feel. So it's not all going to go away, but you'll be able to sleep better and live much higher quality of life when you take these two aspects and work with them to heal yourselves. This was a particularly important topic for me to learn about because of all those people I know who are suffering with fibromyalgia. And I can only hope that you will use this information to help yourselves. As always, I thank you for spending your time with me till next time. If you have enjoyed Claim Your Excellent Life, we'd really appreciate it if you go over to iTunes and give it a five-star review. If you have found Claim Your Excellent Life to be helpful to you, and maybe even life-altering with the information that we have shared here, and to allow us to continue this work, which we really do enjoy doing for you, you can sponsor us at patreon.com. That's spelled P as in Paul, A-T-R-E-O-N as in Nancy, dot com. Again, that's P as in Paul, A-T as in Tom, R-E-O-N as in Nancy, dot com. Where there's a few different levels of sponsorship that you can choose from, to help us to continue doing this work. We thank you for any assistance that you are able to give us. Thank you for listening to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne teaches you how to do this through building high self-esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self-esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness as well as other useful free gifts for you.